through the night, through the day, through the rain, through the zone. I wanna share with you alone. Yeah. Hold on, don't give up on love tonight. No. Let me be the one who suits your pain. Let me be the one who brings you joy and happiness. Well, well. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, I uh, would like to uh, get rooms for, uh, say, um, you know what, we'll just um, take it a day at a time. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so, luckily for you, our promotion for the season, which applies just for newly married couples, is still on. Oh, really? Uh, that's great. Honey, what do you think? What I thought. Um, what do you have? Okay. Here they are. But these are all uh, double rooms for two? Yes, sir. But I thought the both of you are... Uh... Um, sorry, sir. Please uh, forgive my. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, honey, what do you think? You think we should just get a single room for this one? You know what? Just um, let's have uh, two single rooms and um, just make them close to each other, okay? Of course, sir. Um, just hold on. Let me get the papers ready. All right, so we have two packets. Ah! Um, so, um, I'll just call an assistant to help you with the bags and show you your room, okay? And pick it up. Pick up the room, okay? Sorry, sorry. Sorry,
You know what, just uh, take two bottles out of my room. Just two. Okay, that's fine, sir. Strange. Okay. 
No, scratch that. My life is screwed up. You see, in life it takes just one wrong call and everything goes shattering down. Just one wrong call. For everything to come shattering down. Just one wrong choice and that's it. Are you married? No. Ah, thank your goodness. You're lucky. Let's drink to that. Have you seen my wife anywhere around here? Oh, yes. Um, she's over there at the pool side. Um, she doesn't talk much, does she? Huh? How is it your business if she talks or not? Oh, you don't know your place in this place anymore, right? How can you say you don't talk to her that way or talk about her that way? You hear me? Oh, you have your eyes on my wife. Ah, you like her? No, please, I'm sorry. No, you want my wife. Ah, she should know. Money, look! Congratulations! This, this fool here likes you. He, he saw you and he got turned on. He likes you. Come, 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 come. He got turned on by you. Come. Look at him. He wants you. I have witnesses here. You can have her. She's my wife. You can have her. You can have her. No problem. Come, she's there. She's waiting for you. Dadjo, what is it that I have done wrong? Tell me. I mean, I have been kind and respectful to you. I'm okay. Tell me what is it that I have done wrong. I could take it. I am ready to give you whatever you want. Or perhaps I'm too old. Or unattractive to you. Okay. Why is it that you, you did not come to my apartment last night after I severely asked you to? Do you even consider what it does to my ego as a woman at my age? Do you? Madam. I... Would you stop this madam? I've always told you to talk to me like a man talking to a woman whenever we are together. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not just the right person for you. <laughs> right person, you say. Right person. I'm going to make you the game view of every other man if you accept me. Let me into your life and you'll see how it's going to work out. But I don't want to. I'm not ready for any relationship right now. Even, even if I, I were, I'm not sure it's going to be with you. Stop it! Damn it! What are you afraid of? Your family? Tell me, what is it? Both of us having kids together? Or is it about my age? We could work something out. Madam, please. I would like to retire to my duty. If that would be all I need. I'm sorry. Stop. This is my hotel. And I could relieve you of your duty anytime, every day. So don't threaten me with that. Okay, just go. Better have what I want, and this had better be good. 
excuses, excuses, excuses. That's all you give. You said 10 days. You said only 10 days and it's getting on, on, on three weeks now. Look, you had better get me those. You better get me those guys. Look, you had better get me those guys and get this thing over with once and for all. It must be a joker if you think I'm going to spend any more money on this before you do your job. You might as well wait until hell freezes over. From you, sir. But to where do we run from faith? From where do we run to faith? Running and running and running and running. To where, to where, to where? To where do we run from faith? Who is that? No, it's um. Sorry, my name is Naikenga, not with Mr. And for the bag, carrying loot, now my talent. See, there is no kind of road where I never carry for this world. Though. Even for my village, now to carry load where I they take no me. If you enter my village now, you go see where they move somebody where carry load like this. So forget, I've carried Ghana Mons, go. American Koto Manto. No kind of road. Let me try. Just shut up! Don't you have a cart? Cart? No, madam. See. Cats and dogs are highly prohibited in this hotel. Luggage carts, like a moving object, you put your bags on, then you push. You get it? Hey! <laughs> That's in Nakaria, Jikaria. Don't be cats. <laughs> See, this hotel is too clean for us to enter, so we don't need any ho ho hotel cats. Uh, but if you need cats and dogs, zoo, no far from here, and you don't speak in. Just shut up and do your job. Bring my shoes. Thank you. <laughs> this bag is a real Italian English bag. It's all right. It's all right. Nonsense. So, she doesn't have the right to come to the house? Who says she cannot come to the house? Your mother doesn't have a say in my husband's house. She should go to her own husband's house. You and my husband, and whatever I say stands, okay? I am the head of the family. You can never tell me my mother should not come to the family. She will never come to my house again. Did you get it? Why? Because it is my house. Why do you not want her to come to the house? Why? You're going to be a mother very soon. And why would you say that she should not come to the house? There is no problem. Go and sleep with your mother. Make babies with your mother. Sleep with her, kiss her, do everything with her. She's going to... Shut up! Don't you dare. Don't you dare, don't you dare in your life speak about my mother like so that. So what will you do if I do that? Are you going to hit me? I will me? slap the living day like that. Go ahead and hit me. Do whatever you want to do. I am not scared of you.
Your name, sir? Oh, my name. My name is Abwey Gokut. It is easy. Abwey Gokut. name, sir? Ke wozume. Abraham Achorebe. Ke Abwey Gokut. In is easy. You have a right. Abwey Gokut. In is easy. More for the. In a rush. I think that is my name. No, that's fine. I'm going to ah, go. yeah. Okay. okay so how many days will you be staying with you? Sir. That chief, Uwe Wiki, cleaning other people's toilets and getting insulted while doing it. Don't think too much into it. It's just a job. The only available one right now. Poloma, you don't understand how I feel. You don't. I used to feed my friends. I accommodated some of my friends in my first year. I was a happening girl. You know this thing. Even though my dad was providing more than enough for me, I still had little runs. They were going very well for me. There were so many guys prostrating just to have a piece of me. So many guys were prostrating just to have a piece of you. What did all that get you? Carryovers. Reputation of academic years. Notoriety among lecturers and students. Bad reputation. Not to mention a home in the village. If your own mother could come to my mother telling her that I should bring you closer, that means she can no longer bear the embarrassment you've caused her. The life you live in the campus has caused her. Look at you. Babe Nasu. Eh? Is that how it's supposed to be? Look at me now. I don't make sense. Shut up! What doesn't make sense is the fact that you know all the hotel rooms in this town. For Christ's sake, you were being envied by a lot of girls during our secondary school days. You received academic awards. What is going on? What baffles me the most is that you cannot even pass any course comfortably. What is happening to you? What is going on? Mama, I don't know. I don't know. I can't help but wonder sometimes if someone consulted an evil spirit against me. Because ever since I came here, everything changed. Everything. I do not live beyond my limits. I do not wait on any man to do anything for me. This is where it begins. Independence. Why do we complain about gender inequality when we wait on men to do everything for us? Instead of do something worthwhile, a lot of girls leave the toilet cleaning and then chase after men, they would get into their traps. So, you better bear the smell and raise your head high or you live your life embarrassed by the type of life you live. Right now, I'm thinking about my salary. I can't wait for it to come. How much is it? It's not even much. Whatever. I need it. Hold on. Don't give up on love tonight. Hold on. Don't give up on love tonight. Hold on, don't give up on love tonight. 
kids. I'll get stuff to you. Your mom must be taking very good care of them. They uh, sounded very happy. And lively. Mecca did uh, exceptionally well in uh, mathematics this time. She's taking after you. I want to share with you. He kind of got in a fight with uh, the neighbor's son, Lawrence. Put up a good fight, according to your mom, said the, uh, the other kids, said. Sounded worried, but I told her not to worry that boys will always be boys. Gucci is the one who's always asking after us every now and then. I spoke with her land. She would, she would like to hear more from her mom. Very attached to you. <sighs> I'll be over the lounge where the music is coming from. In case you need me. Look at it. It's Seychelles. Why don't we leave there and come around here to see how things are moving on? Have a look. Look, Daju, what is your problem? Is there any other woman in your life? Another girl? Perhaps younger? I don't have any other woman. I am not thinking about women right now. I have bigger concerns than that. Look, tell me what the problem is. You know a problem shared is half solved. Tell me and you will see how I could change things. I'm sure you can trust me. I may not be the youngest woman in your life. But... Why don't you come to my apartment this night? Let me show you a tip of an iceberg. I can be as good as any other woman, even better. Trust me, I know you know what I mean. I didn't say there was a problem at all. I just want to be left alone. Do you know what? I will resign. I think that would be a better thing to do. Resign? Why do you want to do that? Because you're bugging me. You best me to a culpable extent every day. So instead of me making a case out of this, I think it's better I leave so that you can let me be. Okay. I'm sorry. I have a gift for you. What is all this? Following me around all these places. The 
this is stalking and I don't like it. How many times will I have to make it clear to you, to everyone? Why are you disturbing me? Why are you all disturbing me? Just let me be. I'm running the running and running and running and running. And running. To where do we run from fate? From where do we run I from fate? I feel like they're better than I am. Why don't they just grab me by the neck, strangle me, beat me to a pulp, send me to a hospital? Scale me. Anything. I'll, 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 I'll thank anyone that can do that for me right now. I, I, I deserve I deserve all that and more. I deserve it. Well, um, <clears throat> it's okay, all right? It's okay. It's alright. You're fine, right? It's okay. It's fine. We're cool, right? <sighs> Come on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not you. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is your calm, your intelligent. You have everything going for you, your life, you have it all. I used to have a life. I heard it by my own heart. Can I have a drink? Just call it a makeup shot or something. Usually, drink when I'm on duty. That's what I'm talking about. let <laughs> So, um, it's just to uh, one good brother and one broken, crappy one. Okay. I'm not exactly what you think I am. You mean not well mannered? <laughs> Come on now, no man. I mean, everybody has his or her own demons, you know? Depends of the past, mistakes, weaknesses. In my own experience, I think people struggle with serious issues every day. That's why sometimes hiding behind a smiley face is just a way of getting um, away from their problems. You are not alone, bro. You are not. What's your name? Oh, Dajo. Dajo. That's a new one. It's, it's a good name. Yeah, I like it too. It's actually Dajo Mobi. Dajo Mobi. As usual, there must be some voluminous story behind such an evil name. Yeah. My mother had five daughters. And when she was at the edge of losing hope for a more child, I consoled her. Oh, that's, that's great. You know, when I hear names like yours, I just wish our people could go back to rediscovering their talent for good names. And sticking to it. Yeah, it's all English names now. I mean, it it's just doesn't go with the original prayers and lessons that the original names, our traditional names, were, 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 were done for. That's not the middle list of it. You see, the new generation now that should be the one to recover this, they are the ones making it worse. Oh, All in the name of shortening their evil names. You will hear Debbie for Debridge, Kosi for Kosaj, <laughs> and Chomi for Choma. Tell me about Cheese for Cheese or Bad, Nasa for Chinasa. The one that hurt my ears lately was Boobies for a Boobie. Can, can, can you imagine? <laughs> Man. That's something else. Exactly. You will hear the name and you will assume it's an English name. Only to find out how it has been mentally defeated even to the fabric of anglicizing their names. You know, I said earlier that you seem too bright for a hotel barman and receptionist. Uh, 
You know, that could be seen as condescending. It's a hotel job. And it's an honorable job too. Okay, so how did you end up uh, with such an honorable job? Like I said, everyone has his own mistakes, okay? You forge ahead and live with it. Well, some mistakes and they're heavier than others, and uh, some just can't be remedied. That is life. Think of it. Many times you feel like running away from yourself. But to where do we run from? Fear? From where do we run to fear? We're running and running and running and running to where? To where, to where, to where do we run from faith? From where do we run to faith? Do you know how long I've seen it after I've been knocking? Why, why, why am I not surprised? This is what you've reduced your life to. We came here to reconnect. We came here to discover ourselves again. To heal. And look at what you've turned this place into. A camping site for hippies. Is this how you're going to help me? Is this how... Is it, it... You have no right to talk to me that way. That I'm like this now is because of you. Look at me, I'm turning into a wreck. Everything I do is because of you. I, I, I am struggling, but you, you, you just make it impossible to, to make any progress with you. What are you struggling with? If anyone should be drowning their stories in alcohol, it should be me. If anyone should be suicidal, it should be me. Just, sh just, just shut up. You, you, you think you're the only one who's hurt? Do, do, do you know what I'm, I, what, what I'm going through? I have so many things on my mind, so many things I want to say to you, but you, you just always mean and call to me. And I've, I've been struggling here. I've been, I've just been trying to do everything right by you, but nothing seems to work. Do, do, do you know what it means? Do you know what it means to have things in my heart that I, I wish I could talk to you about? Just always mean. 
I just keep this burning in my heart all the time. There's no need to. How are you burning? Hold on. Don't give up on love tonight. Oh, how are you Hold on. Don't give up on love tonight. Living simple like we agreed on. Oh, sorry, ma. I didn't know I was uh, breaking any rules. I just uh, met Prof here and he has a way of uh, speaking to me. Uh, how are you doing, ma? Very well. Thanks for asking. How is your wife? No one had this sees her. Yeah, she's like that. Uh, I think she'll be uh, She should come down soon. Yeah. Son, I have seen it all. You and your wife stay in different rooms in the same hotel. She hardly speaks to you. She talks to no one and keeps to herself. And you tell me she's like that? My dear, no one is like that. She's actually hiding something. <clears throat> And what business do you have with their married our lives? Oh, I see. So you're now a marriage counselor. Why do you get off shooting your mouth when you can't even take care of, of your own marriage? Now you get off advising another person. How do you get off knowing more about our wife than he does? Well... If you had some brain, a little bit larger than a peanut, you should know that she's a woman like me. And that I know and have more bad marriage experience than she does. I bet you do. Now, I'm just this close to checking out of this hotel and getting to another place. You will never, ever find me. Hey. Look, 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 listen, I am going to divorce you. I'll do that. <laughs> now, what's funny? You, of course, you're very, very funny. Please, do me this favor. I could call a lawyer for you, you know, you old cranky joke. Try it and see if you will not die alone where no one will see your dead body till you blood and start smelling with your foul mouth open for flies. Mm. Now listen, I'm just about ready to marshal out my boys to one up you. <laughs> Dry. Where do you get off shooting your mouth like that, putting your mouth where it does not belong? Who made you? A specialist on their marriage issues. Who made you? <laughs> Who made you? It's, uh, uh, Prof, it's okay. I, uh, as a matter of fact, it's been a long time any mother spoke to me like a son. <laughs> Not since my mom passed. Um, I, I really, I really don't mind. <laughs> well, it's really okay, Prof. 
Now, world. now listen, you put your mouth where it belongs. For once. Do you hear me? This world would have been unbearable if everyone were unappreciative like you. You see? <clears throat> Stop talking too much. It is not good for you. Let me go get you water. <laughs> Divorce. <laughs> an extent to you get to in this marriage and issues like divorce become embarrassing. Take care of something. I have the right to talk to you. What problem do you have? have a right to talk polite to women in public and it's a bad thing. What have I done it's that is wrong. wrong? How polite is wrong? Understand the fact that it's wrong. Learn how to talk to women. So what why are you holding me now? Why what have I done wrong? Why you just stop? Just stop this. Crazy or something? What is going into your head? Just stop. Just stop. What will you do? What will you do? Then, what will you do? What's your problem? So I cannot now talk to you. You will not. This is public place. At least you should respect me for one thing. What is then, it? Then how? Why would I shout to them? You should be polite. I like people when they are polite. Try and be polite for once. Okay. What is it? Okay. Are you being polite now? Hold on. Take your hands off my throat. Just stop your stupid work. Just nonsense. Stop it. What is wrong? You're crazy. Might as well urinate on my head. Piece of disrespectful love junkies. Retire to your rooms immediately. Retire. No respect. Are you okay, dude? Yeah. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no idea how good it feels to see you laugh again. I've missed that.
can't do this. Spend time alone. Hold on. Don't give up on love tonight. Oh no. In the midst of your confusion, let me be your answer. I came to apologize to you about my reactions the other day. I have not been myself. I know it's not a good reason, but I can't excuse myself over such a nasty and unkind behavior. Especially the last time I transferred my anger towards you. So I'm sorry. You tried to be nice and concerned. Forgive me, okay? Loretta. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Um it's not as bad as you're making it sound, right? Um, I'm fine. I know how to handle emotions, but I'm softer than I look. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Um <coughs> then again, uh, I don't know how to put this threat. It doesn't come out carelessly. Lorita, I do like you. I really do. But the honest truth is that I can't be in a relationship right now. And I can't tell you why. I am a dead end here, okay? So please, would you stop showing me the kind of affection you show to me? It kills me to know I cannot reciprocate or respond according to such Affection and love gesture. What are you saying? Is it that you need more time or, or is this something I'm not doing right? Just tell me. Look, look, Loretta. It's not about you, okay? It's not about you at all. It's me. You see, I have issues I'm really dealing with. And I don't want you to be a part of my life right now. It's in a mess, okay? I can help you. Let me help you, please. Lorita, stop. I like you too much to let you be part of this mess that I'm living right now. Moreover, Madame is going to mess your life up if she gets to find out that you're making advances towards me. Oh, so my suspicions were right. Sweet Magdalene at the feet of Jesus. So she's into you. That's what all this has been about. You know what? I am. Shh! Lorita, please. It doesn't matter, okay? Because I'm not into her or anyone for that matter. So please, just let me be. The least I can do right now is to let you be part of my life. It's Tony. I am a dead end. I am dead here. You don't even know me. My past? What women have done to me? See, Lorita, I can't love anyone right now. No matter how much I feel about you, I can't love. You should stay away from people like me. Lorita, you should be scared of a man you don't know. No, 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 come back. I can cope. Just allow me to... A 
think it's time I wrap this up. First, <laughs> yeah. Well, we were sorry for what happened. You know, you know, we overreacted and we felt so. You, you guys, you don't have to apologize for anything. We should be the ones apologizing for the embarrassment, right, honey? Sorry, also, I would like to apologize for the noise we caused last night again. You know, we're a bit louder. And, you know, seeing that there's just a wall in between us. So. Um, I'm equally very sorry. It's all me, okay? Any worst thing you must have had lately, it's all me. I get too loud when I'm in the clouds. And it's personal power to get up to my own. <laughs> you catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it happens sometimes. And, uh, yeah, you know, never mind. She's a bit poetic sometimes. And, you know, it, it really pleases me. <laughs> yeah, isn't that my, my, my sugar poetic, poetic justice? <laughs> my stalum poo poo. Oh, my sugar potato boo boo. My vanilla boo boo. Oh, I know you were gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, Malate Macchiato boo. My mojito boo. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that's about the noise. Uh, at night is fine. I'll just try to turn, uh, turn it down a bit at night. My wife here gets disturbed in the night when trying to sleep. Oh, your wife? Oh. Speaking about your whole life, she's beautiful. She's a gorgeous woman. She, you can just see how so fine she is. But oftentimes she puts up this frown on our face. <laughs> That it still captures a man's attention, you know, that sort of thing, you know. I just can't, can't imagine what, what could happen if <laughs> she just puts a smile on this beautiful boy. <laughs> hey, yeah. do you realize I'm here, right? Like, your wife sitting next to you, kind of, I am here. You know, I was about asking the same thing. It's kind of weird you complimenting a lady like that in front of uh, husband. Compliment. Oh, in front of his own wife. Are we put that here? Just damn things. I'm not complimenting just anybody, yeah? Complimenting this beautiful creature of God. This goddess of blessing. This, I mean, it's, look at her. She's right. Okay. Now I am jealous. Good evening. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, we will need a room for one week. Okay? We might stay more than that. Depends on how things progress. Uh, if you understand what I mean. Okay? Yes. One week for sure. Right, of course, let me, hold on, let me get the papers ready. Okay? Yeah. Here you go, sir. Yes. Sir? Wait, 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 wait. What just happened? Look. Mister. What 
what is going on here? I'm asking you a question. Why did she call you, sir? Look, I demand an explanation on what just happened right now. You just chased my woman away. I'm talking to you. What is going on? Did you just walk? Are you walking out of me? You just walk out. I need to fire. I need to Yeah, so we decided to come spend some time here and get away from the, the hustle and bustle. It's a nice place. Oh, yes. Who says men don't gossip? For of you two make the perfect match. One would hardly believe that you could survive a night together. And you've been together for what, 42 years? That's unbelievable. Guess who is more surprised than you? <laughs> ah. <laughs> See, my dear. No. Marriage is like a war. Have you met my wife? How do you think we stay long in this together? She is as strong and as strategic in this battle. Do you know how many women she outs mattered to stay with me? <laughs> yeah. Look, my wife has a combination of how to love and how to strive, how to chastise you at the same time. Look at me. Major General Professor AJ Duro. When I'm with my wife, <laughs> I'm like an altar boy. Oh, yes. What else can turn you into this if not a man? Not really. It only concerns him, and. Well, in turn, he's my concern. Well, one of my concerns. Girl, whatever it is, yeah, I don't know. But if it's about that man there, he is suffering as much as you are. Since you arrived here, he has taken enough alcohol to get the whole elephant in India drunk. So I'll tell you what I tell my daughters. If you want to keep your marriage, you can get to him through his heart. Something he cannot resist. What? Rob, I'm really confused. My wife and I have been going through difficult times of late and I did a very horrible thing and she's she's badly bruised because of it. Sex. Who you are dating my dad of the daughter. That's one thing the media confuse you all with. Sex is not everything you want. If you want to keep a happy married family you have to stop listening to nonsense. Stop listening to all these marriage counselors that make money through constructed and artificial marriages. Listen to yourself. Listen to your heart. You and your husband are all alone in this. There's no second you nor your husband. He watches you, you watch him. And both of you learn through mistakes. Behind that sad lady is the real woman. She has always been. See, this mask of despair and meaninglessness need just a drop of your strength and love. Okay? Not one drop of alcohol. Listen, my dear. If you love your wife, sure, make her feel it. You know, she may try to rebuff you. She may not know that she's doing it. 
Bet. You must continue. You're not drunk. You're not hopeless. But as the man, she fell in love. How do I do these things? Show him this, this love. I mean, I love him. I really do. But I, I just don't know what extra to do. Don't get me wrong. This is the same mistake women make. They believe love is all about what you do and believe it is enough for their husband. Sometimes, love is all about what you let him do. It's all about him being free and have peace around you. My dear, be careful when everything seems glossy. Do not ever Forget the power of prayers. Do not ever do that. Pray always in thought and words. Pray alone. Pray with your family. Come, let's join hands. Pray together. I must confess I've not really been good at that. I mean, I go to church uh, as often as I can. Not as much as my wife anyways. Uh, and our priest always emphasized on that. He said, a family that prays together stays together. Stays together. Yet I do badly with that. Then, get new friends who do not look down on the powers of prayers. I will influence you. to the call from room 103, right? I'll be back. Let me attend to room 103. Thank you. 
They are at it again. They are killing Christians up there at the north. Zuben wants to come back. I am talking to you, but I'm, you're not saying anything. About what? Religious tensions in the north? Or Zuben's coming back? About our son's coming back, of course. He's always running up and down every three to four months. Eh? That's the reason why he refused to settle down with the family. How many times did I advise, warn, and even order that Aski to leave and relocate to other parts of the country? How many times? Now listen. I consider Dubem missing in action. Fiapa, how can you say that? It is you that is missing in action, not my son. How can you even think of that? Huh? Pedro, please. I, I need to talk to you. I mean, what are we supposed to be doing here? Loretta, we have our jobs to do. I know, but I can't take it anymore, please. Just listen to me. For God's sake, we've been through this before. That you is killing me inside, please. Just hear me out, do you? Okay. Okay. But it has to do with what happened the other day at your side. Come on, say whatever you want to say. But now we still start looking for either of us. Yes, then. Just find a way and listen to me, right? Even if you don't care about what I have to say, but just give me the chance to pour out your heart to you. That's fine. As long as it starts with the kickboxing show you put up the other day, I'm all ears. I beg you. You want to have another child? Didn't you hear what the doctor said the last time you went for a heart check? Huh? That too much excitement is not good for you. Come on. Forget that young doctor. What, I mean, what does he know? No, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to I should be the one complaining for constraining myself to live with a sick old man with a weak heart. Just so that you can live longer. And you are here talking about what you cannot do. Good morning, my favorite family friends. Good morning. Good morning, ma. Good morning, sir. Ah, my daughter. You look and sound better too. You woke up to a smiling day, eh? Please, do it. Mm. Mm. That's a new you. I don't see any whiskey or scotch or rum in your hand. I suppose her, her mood is to thank for that. Huh? Not that ah. it's any of your business. Uh, it's uh, sad what's happening in the north, prof. Exactly. That was what I was discussing with my husband before you people came down. And my son is still there. Wow. That must be worrisome. Have you spoken to him? Yes. This morning. He's planning to come down here. Yes, if only he could just return and pick up something to do here instead of running up and down. And well, not to worry, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I know who he, who he took out. <laughs> I am worried something might happen to me. My uncle lives there too. And my dad is always quarreling with him and has asked him to come back, but he says he can't leave there. I can understand that too. You know, when we were living up there, life was good. Very, very good. Yeah, um, I have a lot to tell you. Who I am, why I'm walking here. Sometimes I wonder why you don't even ask me. It's as if you don't care. You don't even want to know me. But I'm asking now, Loretta. No, you're not. You just probably want to know how I did what I did the other day. Okay. 
it was just a reflex action. You know, I watch a lot of Hollywood movies. Suicide Squad, 24, Prison Break. You know, just that. Why didn't you get a fitty bottle while coming down here with some napkins to bind me with? Because I sure look like a suckling to you, right? Running and running and running and running to where, to where, to where. To where? Hello, Mr. Dillon. Good day, ma. Hi, Mrs. Dillon. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Okay. Yeah, good day, Mr. Dillon. Now, pull up your seat, right? <laughs> yeah. Get on. And get on the cruise. Yeah. <laughs> how are you, sir? George? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. So that's good. Um, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> yes. I'm on the verge of explicating to you, uh, young ones, you know, the political arithmetic that is Nigeria. I'm on the verge of joining my ancestors. I seem to be the only one left of, of my numerous comrades, you know? <laughs> now, I am, I am, um, how old am I? You were 77 by September. No, I wasn't asking how old I would be, I'm asking how old I am. Hmm? So, so I am 76. Oh. You know, always be precise about information because uh, it could save a life. You don't want to think that you've been married to me. I mean, all these years. You know, it's, it's, it's a biblical uh, a miracle. Oh, yes. Oh, I realize that. <laughs> so, I am 76. You know, I, I have been engaged with uh, military expeditions in this country and beyond. I have seen the intricacies of life. More than 70% of, of humans on this planet. <laughs> wow. That's not much. That's not yes. You youngsters must actually decide for yourself on which side you have to live in this territory. Our age can't take that decision for you. You must decide because the one we decided for you, I, I guess, is not good enough. Oh, yes. What decision are you talking about, sir? That's you know, not enough. Lecture time is over. Another topic, please. Exactly. I've been waiting for another topic. This one is kind of like... Well, first, I, uh, I think I need to get me a drink. I'll just get water. Ah, I am so excited about our tour tomorrow. Yeah. What tour? Well, mm, we, I mean, the four of us, we are going to the woods tomorrow. We will stay there and spend some time with the animals. You know, get connected with Mother Nature back, away from our phones, internet, newspapers, for a few hours. It won't be a bad idea. I mean, you two can come if you're all invited. I mean, if you're not doing anything, like, come on, it's us. Come, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I will be announced to stop the young blood. I mean, we're already old, fuckers. Who oh, is old? You are old. I am not. How dare you tell a younger soldier like me, a military man like me, call him old? Of course, I'm not old. Now, does any of you have the military competence and uh, survival training in the woods? I don't know. I don't think so. Good. Then, as a matter of elderly responsibility, I volunteer to lead you in this tour. And on my honor, I shall take you there, I shall lead you, and you will all come back safe, sound, and unharmed. So help me God. Wow. <laughs> nice, yeah. 
Yeah! Whoa! What an honor! I want to be the one to make you smile and conquer every darkness in your heart. I want to be the one to make you rise in the morning with a song of joy and dance. Hold on, don't give up on love tonight, oh no. Love will always conquer, don't you remember? In the midst of your confusion, let me be your answer. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on for me. Hold on, don't give up on oh, love don't give up. I'm not giving up on you, so don't give up on me. Yeah. Hold on, don't give up on love tonight. And through the darkness, through the rainfall, through the mountains and the deepest valley. Hold on. Hold Ha <laughs> ha